Hi everybody. Welcome to my Hillside Urban Garden Kitchen Edition. Today we're going to bake some artisan bread. This beautiful round loaf of bread. So stay tuned. You'll get the recipe and a little bit of the tricks of the trade on how to make this very simple and easy overnight or no need bread. So hope you enjoy it. All right, let's start with our ingredients. It's four simple ingredients for this artesian bread. It's three cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of, of salt, and one heaping teaspoon of yeast, and one and a half cups of uh, warm water. Now you want to make sure that your water is at least over um, over a hundred. This one is about almost about 105. That does make a difference because if it's too hot it could kill the yeast. If it's if it's not warm enough the yeast won't activate as well. So and then we're going to mix them together in this big bowl. So, and I've got a spatula that I'm going to use here that has a nice wooden handle that I'm going to stir with. So, let's put all the ingredients in. We'll start with the flour. For, again, three cups of all-purpose flour. And with the salt, I'm going to put the salt on one side. And now I'm going to put the yeast in, and I'm going to put the yeast on the other side. So you can see that I've got them separated here. We've got the yeast on one side and the salt. That just kind of helps the yeast not interact too much with the salt because it kind of inhibits the yeast. So I'm going to use my handle here. I'm going to mix that up. And then we're going to put in our warm water. Now when I do it, I typically do a little bit at a time or maybe half and half or a third. Put some in and I'm just going to stir it around. And remember this is an overnight um, dough, so you don't have to be too concerned about it. So I'll put a little bit more in there. We'll stir that around. I'm just going to kind of bring the flour from the edge and put it in the, in the middle. From the edge and put it in the middle. And you can see that the uh, the wooden handle works really well for that. So let's put a little bit more in. And I'm just going to stir the rest of this. Try to get all of the flour and see how it is starting to come together. Make sure that all the flour got incorporated. All right, all right, that's it. I got one of my bench scrapers here. I'm just gonna scrape the dough off the handle. And you don't have to do this next part, but I just kinda like the bowl to be kind of neat. So I'm just gonna scrape inside of the bowl. This is kind of a little bit nice. I'm going to shape it a little bit, just bring it to the center, and that's it. Okay, so we just uh, got our dough all together and all our ingredients mixed together. And now we're going to cover it and we're going to put it in a warm place overnight to, um, to rise. And all I'm going to do is put a piece of plastic on here, kind of seal it up here. And this is optional, but I do like putting a towel over my bowl because I think it does keep it a little bit warmer. So now let's, uh, we'll go and, and put it in the oven to set. All right, so we have our dough and we've got it covered in the plastic and we've got our warm towel around it. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the oven. I preheated my oven to 100 degrees, very low temperature. And we're going to turn it off and we're going to put the dough in here to rise for anywhere from 10 to 18 hours. It, um, it's 8 o'clock at night right now and we're just going to let this proof overnight. There we go. And when we get up in the morning, we'll be able to finish off the bread. So, see you in the morning. Well, good morning everybody. It's now the next morning and I've taken, taken our bread out of the, the oven that's been resting and uh, proofing in there. So now the next step is going to be that we're going to take it out of here. We're going to make sure it's at least doubled in size. And um, we're going to do uh, take a few minutes, not a few minutes, maybe a minute. And we're just going to shape the dough. And I have a piece of uh, parchment paper here that we'll put the dough on. And then we're going to put it in a little bit of a smaller bowl. And we're going to let that rest for um, 30 more minutes before we put it in the oven. So today, I'm going to put it in my three and a half quart Dutch oven. This is a Dutch oven. It's the uh, cast iron enameled pot. 
So this is um, actually one of the smaller ones. I have a, a larger one as well that I make like, you know, chili and soups and stuff in. You can use those as well. I think the whole idea of this is that you have like a really hot, almost like a pizza oven. It gets so hot in there. But this is the one that I'm going to use today. I like the smaller one for the bread because it gives a little bit more of a, a, a taller edge on the edge of the bread. So that's the one I'm going to use today. So I'm, what I'm going to do is we're going to look at the dough and I'm going to flour the surface away and um, I keep my extra flour for surfaces in I know this looks like a pizza parmesan kind of shaker it works really well um, so that's what we're gonna use for the flour today so let's take off the towel oh and look at this okay it looks pretty darn good so here's what the dough looks like that's quite a bit it's at least half if not uh, one and a half times uh, tripling of the dough. So, I'm gonna get it out of here. We're gonna flour the surface. We're gonna be pretty generous about this. And the reason this is, remember what I said, this is a wet dough. So it means it's sticky. So I really don't want it to stick to the surface if uh, I can get away with it. Again, I'm gonna use my wooden spoon here. It has a spatula on the end, and we're just gonna scrape it out. Just get as much as you can. You can see here, oh, see how the strings, that's the gluten that is formed on there. Okay, we'll try to get this right in the middle here. All right, here we go. Okay, did well, look at that. Over here. So now, I'm going to get more of my uh, flour, flour the top. Because remember again, sticky dough. So what I'm trying to do now is really shape it. What shape do you want it? If you want it in the loaf shape, maybe cut it in half and kind of try to roll it into um, like a French loaf. We're, I'm gonna do the round one again, the easy one that doesn't really take a lot of effort and it really is very good. So I have floured everything. I have my bench scraper here, which it works the best for me. And I'm just going to kind of go up and over, pull. And what I'm, like I said, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to shape it, right? Put a little more flour here. So I'm trying to make it like a circle. Okay, and she's a sticky dough, so it really will take to all that extra flour that you're putting on here. Not a problem. Okay, that looks pretty good. And so I got my parchment paper here that I've cut into a square. Parchment paper I think works excellent. Number one, not only does it not stick to the bottom of the pan, but you can use the edges to lift it up afterwards. It's very nice. So I'm gonna go here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the bench scraper, put it underneath here, and put it right there in the middle. So there it is. What did that take? I have probably less than a minute to do all of that. So now what I'm gonna do is that the, the dough has to rest for now another 30 minutes. And while that's happening, I am going to start my oven to get it preheated. And I'm going to put the Dutch oven in there. So the Dutch oven needs at least about 15 minutes in there to get to heat. So start your oven within the 30 minutes. By the time this is done, it will be ready to put it all in the oven. So there it goes. So it's all in there now. And we'll just reuse the plastic. Because remember, now we're going to rest it for 30 minutes. Plastic over it. I put the towel. I will put this off to the side on the top of the oven in the back and uh, we'll just leave it there and when the 30 minutes are up we'll come back and I'll put the Dutch oven will already be in the oven heating up and I'll show you what we do to put it uh, start it cooking so we'll see you in 30 minutes okay so we're gonna get the oven ready now while our dough is doing its 30 minute rest and actually for the dough you can do it more than 30 minutes if you have an hour you got to go do something an hour is just fine too but do it for a minimum of 30 minutes. So while that's continuing to rest, I need to preheat the oven. This is kind of an important step. So what I'm gonna do here is the oven is cold and I'm gonna put my Dutch oven right down in the middle of the oven. I'm gonna close it up so it's all cold. It's gonna heat up together. I'm gonna turn on my preheat to 450. Now my oven typically takes about 15 or 20 minutes to heat up. 
So kind of keep that in mind uh, when, you, when you start your preheat. That should be just about the right time for um, this uh, dough to finish up uh, for us to put it in the oven. So for right now, the Dutch oven's in there heating up and once this gets the temperature, we'll come back and get the bread dough in the oven. So the dough's been resting for at least 30 minutes and we're going to take out the Dutch oven. I'm gonna put it up here. I'm gonna put the dough in and I'm gonna put it back in. So the idea being trying to keep the heat in here, so I'm gonna get it, take it out, close the oven door, and uh, put the dough in. I'll show you how easy that goes. But, so here's our dough. So we took out the towel, the plastic. You can see it looks, it looks pretty good. It's just been resting in there. So let's get out our um, Dutch oven and get this thing in the oven cooking. This is very, very hot. Make sure your kids and your little fur babies are not around. So we're gonna take the lid off. And we're gonna take the dough. Now see, the parchment paper makes it very easy just to lift up and put in there. We'll get our gloves on again. We're gonna put the lid on. The lid is all the way down. You can turn the paper off later if you want. So no, I'm not worried about it catching on fire in there. But now I'm going to open the door. I'm going to put this in the middle of the oven. Close the door quickly. So I'm going to take my preheat off. I'm going to put mine on convection. It's at the 450. And we're going to cook this at 450 degrees for 45 minutes with the lid on. So I'll set the timer for 45 minutes. Okay, so 45 minutes, the timer just went off. So now what we're going to do is that if you like your bread a little crispier, a little browner on the outside, we're going to take the lid off and we're going to cook it anywhere from 5 minutes to an extra 15 minutes. And this is completely to your taste. So if you like it darker, do it for 15 minutes. If you like it uh, just brown, do it about 5 minutes. And that's kind of what I do. I do like 5 more minutes. So we're going to open this up. I'm just going to take the lid off. And I see it's looking pretty good, but we're going to go five, we're going to go five more minutes. Try again. The timer just went off, so right now I'm going to go, I'm going to turn off my oven. Everything's off, and we'll get the, let's get the bread out. Oh, that looks good. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice, beautiful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it out of the Dutch oven because if I leave it in there, it'll continue to cook, so the bottom will get pretty brown. So let's see if I can grab the parchment paper, and out it goes. How easy is that? Oh, look how clean your pot is. This over here to cool. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful bread. So I'm going to let this cool here for about 10 minutes, and then I'll meet you back over at the table, and we'll talk about the bread. All right, our bread has um, started to cool. Let's see how we did. Well, I think that overall this is a success. Uh, it's got a nice shape. It's got some nice browning bottom on the top, nice and crunchy. But yet yeah, here, yeah, it's got some crunch in there too. So it feels very light inside as well. So we'll let this cool completely though before we cut it up. But uh, that is my artisan bread recipe. Very easy. So the night before you have four ingredients, you spend literally one minute to mix it up. Let it put a cover on it, put it in a warm place overnight. And the next morning today, you, you take it out, you take about 30 seconds to kind of shape it. Let it rest for 30 more minutes. Get out your Dutch oven and heat your oven to 450 and cook it uh, uh, until it's done. So. I think for all the bread that I make, this is probably the easiest recipe there is. I hope that you try this at home. And uh, any questions, leave them in the comments. Or um, if you'd like to post a picture, that would be great too. So thanks for watching the video today on the artisan bread from the Hillside Urban Garden Kitchen Edition. Thanks everyone for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.